this series of videos is about the do-it-yourself coffee can foundry furnace that I'm showing here. This runs on propane or map gas, normal torch bottles or uh, a camping bottle. The burner shown in this particular video is a burner that I made myself. However, with this little foundry you can also use the propane torch shown at the right rear as a heat source. The propane torch will easily melt a uh, crucible full of aluminum. The crucible shown near the body of the furnace is two inches in diameter, five inches high. The propane torch shown on the right with the, the green bottle attached to it will melt that much aluminum in this furnace. Equipped with the powerful map gas or propane air assisted burner shown, this furnace will melt that crucible of brass in approximately six to seven minutes. So this is pretty powerful and therefore pretty useful if you need to make small foundry castings in aluminum, copper, or brass. This type of easily made do-it-yourself furnace should be pretty attractive. It didn't take me long to construct it, and in this series of videos I'm going to go over refractory cement, refractory linings, burners, whether you use a propane torch for melting aluminum, or whether you'd like to build the do-it-yourself burner I've shown attached to the coffee can foundry furnace here. I've put a little bit of scrap aluminum into my 2 inch by 5 inch crucible, so let's just do a quick fire up and demonstrate to uh, what you'd be getting if you decide to build one of these. Let's melt a wee bit of aluminum as a demonstration. I have it in the crucible. So I'll lift the lid off the furnace, which is cold, so I can actually uh, put the furnace in, put the crucible in, rather, by hand. Lid fits. So, what we'll do is uh, turn on the gas a wee bit, light a uh, piece of paper here, and uh, there we go, finally lit. So we can put the lid on. Slowly turn up the gas. Now this particular burner is my most powerful one and works with an air assist. The air assist I have a regulator for and it makes the burn a lot hotter.
look in the top of the furnace. Let's try and take a look in here. It's getting awfully hot in there. And the aluminum is already starting to sag down into the crucible. now melted so I can shut the furnace down. Air assist off, gas off. I have fire brick here that I can put the very hot furnace lid down on while I fish out the crucible which is, as you can see, very hot in very little time. Now I'm just moving the camera down so that we can see the muffin tin that I'm going to uh, pour this wee little batch of uh, melted aluminum into to make an ingot. half an ingot anyway. I didn't melt all that much for this quick demonstration of this furnace. Okay, I put the crucible back into the furnace. I'll raise the camera. At this point I'm just going to let everything cool down. It's uh, incredibly hot, of course, in there. Let's take a closer look at our uh, new aluminum muffin that we've just uh, tried to make down here. There we go. It only took a few minutes to melt that aluminum. This uh, furnace can be quite useful for anyone who needs to do small castings in aluminum, copper, or brass. The first video after this introductory video will be about refractory cement, what you need to buy, or alternatively, how to make your own refractory cement. The second video will be about refractory linings for the furnace. The third video will be about constructing the furnace itself from a coffee or paint can using the refractory linings and refractory cements discussed in the first and second videos. The fourth video is going to be about furnace burners, whether you use a propane torch for simple aluminum melting, or use the air-assisted powerful burner made from plumbing pieces that I showed uh, in this introductory video as easily able to melt aluminum in a few minutes. The fifth video in the series will be uh, testing and curing of the newly made foundry furnace. The sixth video will be about crucibles. I'm uh, showing uh, welded steel crucibles here. There are several alternatives for do-it-yourselfers for a crucible. I'll go over those in the sixth video. And in the seventh video, we'll be melting metal, aluminum, brass, and copper, and making some castings. I hope this series, which I'll be posting videos for every couple of days, proves to be useful and informative for anyone interested in a small do-it-yourself foundry setup. In the time it took me to list out the upcoming videos in this video series, the aluminum that was poured a couple of minutes ago has hardened in the steel muffin pan. And that's 
pick it up. Here's the aluminum ingot that we have from uh, a bunch of nasty scrap aluminum that I'd been saving up to melt down. <laughs> 